Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one is how to buy a Bitcoin on the Binance smartphone app. I'm gonna go through setting up an account with Binance, all the information that you need to give Binance to get your account up and running. Then I'm gonna go through two ways to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on Binance. The first is with a credit card. That's the simplest, quickest way, but I'll tell you about the fees and also some of the options with that. Then going through to actually depositing fiat currencies on account like US dollars or pound sterling, and then going through and actually trading Bitcoin in a more advanced way. I will leave all the timestamps for this video in the description so you can get through to the right place, along with some other really helpful cryptocurrency videos. And also, if you do want to go and sign up for a Binance account, I'll leave that link there for you as well so you know you're going through to the right place to sign up for an account. So let's get the Binance app opened up and the easiest way is I'll just leave the sign up link in the description. You can click that, go through and then come to the sign up page. You will need an email address and then choose your password to log into the system. There are lots of security procedures when logging in, so you'll have to do the same as I'm doing here. Then you'll have to confirm your email address, go through two-factor authentication, so give them your phone number and then receive a text message with a code. If you want to go ahead and buy cryptocurrencies on Binance, you also have to give over your KYC information. You'll have to input your address and also give them a form of photo ID, either your passport, your driving license or ID card, depending on the country. You can also choose between Binance and Binance Lite. If you're a total beginner, you may want Binance Lite, but by the end of this tutorial, you will know how to use the fully fledged version of Binance anyway. So first up, we can see the homepage and actually Binance do put Bitcoin right there as number one on the homepage. So if you wanna go ahead and trade it, you can just go right in here. And as you can see coming down, you actually have a rankings list of the biggest gainers, also the biggest losers, and then uh, ranked by 24 hour volume. It's just nice to see, but we can just go right into Bitcoin right here and click on this. And this is the very simple buy crypto screen. So you can actually see right here is that you can pay with credit card and I'll go through actually how to do that firstly. So you can come up here to the spend tab and you can just choose any fiat currency that you want. So this is in GBP for me, but you can see you can switch it right to USD or many other supported fiat currencies. They are really numerous. So your currency probably is supported right here. I'm just gonna make it easy for myself. Just put GBP in there and then just choose how much you want. So click on this and the minimum is 15. Then you can go to a maximum as well. And what's great is it would actually tell you how many Bitcoin that this amount of fiat currency will actually purchase. You can change the amount of Bitcoin as well. So it'll actually change the amount of fiat currency that you need. So if I just change that as 0.005 Bitcoin, then it tells me how much of my fiat currency that I'm gonna need to actually spend to buy this amount of Bitcoin. So once you're happy with those order details, it's really as simple as just going through to continue. And then it will go through to the next screen where you have to put in all of your billing details. So your card number and everything, the billing address, and then it is as simple as that you can buy with a credit card. This is the easiest method by far, but there are quite a few downsides of buying cryptocurrency with your credit card, not just on Binance, but on any platform. Firstly, you have absolutely no control over the exchange rate right now. You're actually not choosing a rate that you exchange at. You're just telling Binance how much you want to buy, and then it's telling you how much you can get. Also, the fees for paying with credit cards are extremely high. You're gonna be paying two and a half, maybe 3% to pay with a credit card. Again, this isn't just for Binance. If you use a credit card to buy on any platform, it's gonna be the most expensive way to buy Bitcoin or other cryptos. You can therefore actually pay with your fiat balance. And I did have some sterling on account, but I've just switched it. You can go to fiat balance, and this is when you actually transfer fiat currency in to your account via a bank transfer. This is going to be far, far lower cost, basically free for most currencies. And you also pay a much lower fee when it comes to trading through fiat as well. Before I get on to telling you how to actually deposit fiat currencies into your account and all of the fees, let's just go up to the sell tab because this is how you sell your cryptocurrencies in the very easy way as well. So this is really Binance offering an exchange service for you, a very simple exchange service that you can use. You can see how much you spend and how much you get. And then when you go through to sell, obviously this is just the reverse. So if you have any Bitcoin on account, you can very easily just quickly sell it. You can choose max right here, and then it's gonna show you how many you actually get. And you can obviously choose a fiat currency that you wanna convert it into. 
and you can choose Bitcoin or many other cryptocurrencies that are supported on Binance to sell and very quickly exchange. You can see that goes through to your fiat balance. So let's just come back out into the main screen. You can do that for every single cryptocurrency, but obviously fiat balances are the cheapest way to go ahead and buy cryptocurrencies. I'll just quickly go through the fees then before I tell you how to deposit fiat currencies and also how to actually buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies for a much lower cost. You can see that you can expect to pay a few percent if you want to buy via credit card. Bank transfers though are free of charge for most banks. At least there will be one free option for most fiat currencies that I've checked out. You will actually pay about 1% for most markets as a trading fee, which is much lower than the 3%. Also, you do get a discount from Binance if you use BNB coin to pay your trading fees. BNB is actually a cryptocurrency from Binance. It's on the Binance platform, Binance owns it, and it is used to pay for fees on Binance, but also is used to invest in other cryptocurrencies and in some staking and savings products that Binance gives you. Anyway, let's get into how to actually deposit cash and put some fiat currencies on account with Binance. So let's just come out to the main page right here. There are a couple of ways to do this. You can actually go to the more tab you can then click on that deposit option and it will take you through to the page. You can then do a couple of things. You can actually deposit cryptocurrencies and you can deposit cash. I'm gonna concentrate on depositing cash right now so you can actually click on this right here and then you can see it will actually give you a list of fiat currencies down here that you can click on. This is what it looks like when you go through to the next page. It is essentially giving you a couple of things. First, to make sure that your name on the bank account is the same as your name on account with Binance. When you do set up your account, you're gonna need all of your ID documents. It's then going to give you a payment reference number and obviously Binance's bank details as well. So what you need to do is go into your bank, either your banking app or online, put in Binance's banking details and then absolutely put that reference number as a note to the payment. I'd recommend only sending a very small amount first to just check that you have everything set up properly. And then once you know it works, you can be confident to send larger amounts. There is another way to go and deposit money. You can come down to your wallets and then just click on the deposit option and you can see it goes through to that very same page. But when you do have any deposits, they will all be here for you. So you can see your fiat balances and also all of your crypto balances, including Bitcoin right in here so that you know you actually have cash on account to go and trade. Let's go through to the markets tab then, and this is the more advanced way to buy Bitcoin, and it's going to give you all of the trading tools that you need, and is also a much cheaper way of doing it. You can see that I am on fiat markets right now. So this is a Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies versus a bunch of fiat currencies. So you've got USDT, which is a stable coin, and BUSD, which is Binance US dollar, which is also a stable coin. If you're transferring US dollars onto your Binance account or other cryptocurrencies, then what will happen is that Binance will have to transfer these into a stable coin. Stable coins use a fiat currency as a base and track it one for one. So USDT is tracking the US dollar one for one. So one USDT is one US dollar and it is exactly the same for BUSD. Most people will trade USDT and you can see this main market here, Bitcoin against USDT, which is essentially like Bitcoin against the dollar. What's nice is that you can see all of the pertinent trading information right here and we have the change on the day here. So we can go and click on this market and it takes us through to the trading page. So what we have right here is all the information you need. Firstly, this is the price of the market. So this is Bitcoin here against the US dollar. So one Bitcoin is 36,860 USDT, which is the tether. Then you can see the change on the day here. So up 17%, some trading volumes, the high and the low for the day. Then as we come down, you can see the current chart. In this instance, it's a few days. So this is a chart over the last few days and you can change the time scales right here. So now we're having a one hour bar chart and you can change this to a four hour bar chart quite easily. So each of these bars represents four hours of time and then each of these bars now represents one hour of time. You can also change this to a line chart, although this doesn't give any information. I much prefer bar charts. You get way more trading information. So each of these bar charts represents that time. And if the chart is green in that time, that represents that one hour movement as positive. And if it's red, that is obviously a negative move for that one hour of time. 
This will just give you a brief overview of how the chart and how the price of Bitcoin against the US dollar is performing, which I think is very good before you enter a trade. You can see three lines here as well, a yellow, a purple, and a sort of pink line. Well, these are moving averages and you can see them listed here. So the yellow is an MA and then seven in brackets. That means it's a seven day moving average. You also have a 25 day moving average and a 99 day moving average. You can see that the shorter the moving average, the more closely it tracks the price chart. You can change these here. So MA is a moving average, EMA is an exponential moving average. So that will give more weight to closing prices that are nearer the time that we are at the moment. And then Bollinger Bands, these are a slightly more advanced way to just check out maybe some areas of support and resistance for the chart. So you have a moving average in the middle and then the Upper and lower bands are two standard moving averages away from that middle. And they often just give traders a very easy to see line of support and resistance. And you can see in this current uptrend, it has tracked this upper moving average. It then comes down to somewhat of the uh, middle moving average, and then it comes up and basically breaks through this upper Bollinger Band, meaning that it is still carrying on a very bullish trend. Down here is the trading volume as well, which is very, very important to look at. When you have an up move like this, on very high volume, that is an incredibly bullish sign. Before you buy, you may want to also see the order book for the coin, which is really great to see. Now, what you can see here is prices of buyers, which are in green, and prices of sellers in red. And when those two match, a trade will go through. What you can also see is these bar charts right here, and this represents volume at a given price. So you can always see that usually uh, up at the top of the order book, the volume is a lot thinner than down at the bottom. People don't really like to show their hands when it comes to ordering, so they will trade smaller amounts and actually go through and then put larger amounts further away from the actual trading price. Once you are happy with the chart and you think that it's a good time to get in, you might want to go through and place an order then. So we can come through to buy, so we'll just click on the buy order. You can see this is very, very different to the very simple exchange that we had when we were using our credit cards and spot balances. So this is actually the trade screen right here, so you can get to this at any time just by pressing this button and it will bypass the actual chart or you can press markets, come in like this and then go to buy and it takes you through to that same screen. We can go through then and place a limit order for Bitcoin, which gives you a lot more control over the price that you pay. You can see we are a buyer right here, and there are a couple of options. You have a limit order and a market order. I'm just gonna go limit first. So in this instance, we can choose the price that we are paying. So let's say we want to pay 36,000. So I can just change that very easily to 36,000 and press done on my screen. I now have complete control over the price that I'm paying for my Bitcoin. And then down here, you can see the amount. You can just press the plus button to change it, or you can go in there and just type it in yourself. Press done on that one. And then that will give you a cost overall. So what this is doing now is uh, taking the price that you want to pay and timesing it by the amount that you want to buy. And then it's giving you a price overall, as you can see in USDT, because we are buying Bitcoin and selling USDT to buy that Bitcoin. You'll see that when I change this uh, further and double this, the price will obviously go up and double as well. It's a very simple calculation, but what you can see is that my price right here is actually way, way, way below the current market price. That means that my trade will actually not go through straight away, although Binance will work my order. And if I put this in and press buy, then this will come down to open orders and you'll have an order open in the market that Binance is waiting, ready to execute if the price in the market does come down to your level. What's good as well is that you can actually come in here and choose an amount that you want to buy. So let's say you wanna buy $500 worth, which is obviously represented by USDT. You can just come in here, press 500 like this, press done, and then it will work out at this price how many you actually need to buy to buy this many. It's exactly the same for sell, and it is obviously the absolute reverse. So choose your price, choose how many you want to sell. And of course, you will be getting USDT because that is the currency pair that we are trading. So if you're selling Bitcoin and you have any on account, then you can go ahead and sell it right there. The other way though is to just use a market order. So if I switch to market, you can see that the price cannot now be changed. That is because a market order actually just uh, gives you control over the amount that you buy and not the price. So I can go in here and let's just say I want to buy at 0.05 and press done. It will not give me an amount 
that I will pay because it doesn't know. What is going to happen is that Binance will literally just go right into the market right here and lift all of these sellers. So they're currently at 36,722, but depending on how much volume you want to buy, you may also pay up higher onto the order book and get a more expensive price as well to fill the volume of your order. Let's just switch this to buy because I was talking about buy, but hopefully you can understand that essentially a market order does not give you any control over the price, but it does give you control over the volume. And it will also tell you how many USDT you have on uh, balance to actually pay for this order. With a market order, it will not come down here to open orders because you will be filled straight away. Whatever the price is in the market, it doesn't matter. They are gonna go through and buy the amount of Bitcoin that you want to buy, even if you get a ridiculously high price. So make sure that if you are doing a market order, you understand that you have no control of the price. And if you are trading in big volumes, you may get a very bad deal for the price. What may be better is to go to a limit order and then just put in the amount you're willing to pay and then just wait for that to get executed. If you are more or less around the price, then you have a very good chance of getting that. Once your order is through and you have a Bitcoin on account, you can go to your wallet right here. Like I said before, you will see all of your balances here and you can go to an overview and it will give you that or you can go to spot and it will show you all of your current cryptocurrencies that you have on account and also give you a dollar value for them as well, which I think is quite nice. So you can see overall more or less what your cryptocurrencies are valued in in terms of the dollar, which is just nice to see. I will leave the link to sign up for Binance in the description if you've got this far and wanna go ahead and start trading, just click on that one. It will take you through to the right place to sign up. There are many more features of this app. There's margin trading and futures, and there are also a lot of other things, including staking and savings products from Binance as well. I cover those in some other videos that specifically go into all the benefits of those products. So do check out the Binance playlist on the channel if you do wanna learn more. Also be sure to like and share this video if it was useful for you. Definitely sub for way more helpful cryptocurrency content and I'll see you in the next one.